Well, welcome back, motorcycle enthusiasts. Here I am on another one of my ride-along videos. This is going to be relatively short and sweet. It's the Ross Durant's Road, right near where I live in Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. Here we are entering it. It's a one-lane road, so traffic flows both ways, but it's only one lane ride wide. That's very rare in Canada. We just passed the entrance to uh, Mount Work in the Mount Work Regional Park. It's a pretty large forested park. There's 11 kilometers of trails. That's about eight miles of trails. And there's also a large mountain biking park. And there's three lakes where you can uh, fish and canoe in two of them. So quite a good park. But I'm here, of course, for the motorcycle road. So look how close those big trees are right to the edge of the road. This is not a road that's going to get bigger. It's going to stay this width probably forever. It goes through an area that we call the, the Highlands. That's the community. It's one of the several communities that make up Greater Victoria area. But uh, the Highlands is the least populated, as one might expect. Uh, there are people all living through here. Uh, once you exit the park, and we're pretty close to ending the park area, uh, then it becomes private land as well. Of the three lakes, one of them is Pease Lake, and it's coming up on the right. It's hard to see here because of all the trees, but there's an access point just back there where you walk down to the lake. There's a little bit of a wharf and everything down there. I'm now on the private land side, and we're going to look back on Peas Lake here. So it's half in the park and half private land. But I just love this viewpoint. Imagine owning this tract of land here. It's a, a fairly large acreage here, and it was for sale a year or two ago. I thought seriously about buying it, actually, but this is kind of remote land, so you have to take that into account as well. Now I'm in the private land area, and it's interesting here because on the left, if you look carefully, you'll be able to spot a few lakes. They're all relatively small, and the first one we'll encounter going in this direction would be Third Lake. The second one is Second Lake, and the first one is not called First Lake. <laughs> I don't know why there's no First Lake, but I guess they named the first one and they just ran out of names, so it was second and third for the other ones. Anyway, as you can see this road, there's, uh, I mean, there's solid boulders on the side of the road here. Um, so you gotta be, gotta be alert. This is a beautiful road. So many twists and turns. It's, uh, it just feels like a really good road to travel. The only downside to all this beauty is visibility. It is hard at times to see what's coming up on the road, so you always need to be in top control. There could be a big truck, there could be bicyclists. It's a popular route for them to take as well. I try to never travel here at rush hour. And not that there'd be that many vehicles taking this road, but a few people treat it as a shortcut to get to where they're going to try to beat the rush. I've talked on some of my travels about how I found some of the best roads by Google Maps taking me on their directional shortcuts to places. And that's something that actually ha Oh, here's a van here, so you can see what I mean. It kind of fills the lane. Anyway, Google Maps has taken some tourists uh, in, on this road when they're trying to go from, say, the ferries uh, to Up Island. This is a kind of a shortcut you could take to do that, but it's not one for tourists. Tourists should definitely stay on the highway, so if you're in the area, stay on the highway, don't take this road. <laughs> for the most part the road quality is quite good it does get covered though in the sort of debris that you would expect from tall trees and it rains a lot here so sometimes that can get a little bit slick on top of the road surface so in those conditions you have to be aware but yeah most of the road is in good shape good traction like I said, some tough visibility, lots of great turns. This is one of those roads where you're, you're not driving at a high speed, but it just feels very active because there's so much to do. 
I always like that on a motorcycle. It really engages your mind. The scenery is quite nice, but it's mostly forest. The best view was probably the view of Pease Lake that we saw earlier. It's one of those roads that has very little traffic, so that's a plus. Um, and yeah, the twisties are super. So last factor maybe is how fun is this road? Well, it's interesting. I've traveled so far afield and found so many great roads. You almost forget sometimes about the great roads right at home. And this is a very fun road. I, on a motorcycle, I'll take this road whenever I get a chance, really. It's just that much fun. So definitely ranks high in the fun factor. Of course, the downside to a single lane road is when there is traffic ahead of you, uh, there's nowhere to pass it. So, oh, this guy's going to be super friendly and he pulled over for me. And a lot of people will do that on this road. We're all friendly Canadians after all. So all in all, for pure driving excitement, I would say the Ross Durant's Road is one of the best motorcycle roads in British Columbia, and that's saying quite a bit. It doesn't have some of the views you might expect of other roads, but that's its only downfall. Everything else is just A+. And speaking of views, you may be able to get a few glimpses of a lake here on the left side of the road. It's again hard to see, there's just so many trees, but it's it's right there. Easy to see in person on the GoPro, unfortunately. The lakes out here are privately owned though, so they're not um, lakes you can access. But going back to the Mount Work Regional Park, there's a, a few lakes there, including the Durant's Lake, which is a really popular swimming hole. Um, it heats up nicely because it's not too big of a lake and so it's a good temperature for swimming in the summer. Well, we're actually getting close to the end. Like I say, it's uh, a relatively small road, less than seven kilometers long, but just so much fun. And it's part of a long, larger set of roads that you can take to make a really exciting circuit. So. I hope you enjoyed this uh, ride along video as much as I enjoyed presenting it to you. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment. I'm always excited to hear what you have to say about my trips and uh, any suggestions for places to go or things to see. Um, I've got many of my own plans of course, and um, but there's so many roads and so many fun experiences. Can't wait to do them.